Hello there. We've already seen plenty of heavy rain and flooding across several parts of Australia. More heavy rain in the forecast underneath this band of cloud you can see here on my satellite image. A large area of cloud across northern parts of Queensland, which will bring some heavy rain in the coming few days. Heavy showers affecting Darwin for a time, but it's as we head towards northern Queensland that we see the heaviest of the rain and thunderstorms, torrential downpours, and they're going to be stretching in a line right down towards parts of New South Wales as well. Sydney could see the tail end of some thunderstorms through the course of the day. Head further west, though, different story towards Melbourne. It's looking dry and bright with highs of 24 degrees. Some rain also pushing north across both islands of New Zealand. So you can see that rain on Wednesday starting to peter out, so nothing too heavy, I think. And as we look across Western Australia, well, things are warming up yet again. 40 degrees there, the high in Perth, a bit above what we'd expect for this time of year, certainly. There is a tropical storm off the coast of Western Australia. It's largely remaining out at sea, but it could curl back in a southerly and a southeasterly direction, heading towards parts of Western Australia later on in the week. So certainly something to keep our eyes on here. So as the, the outlook for Perth then, it's going to be cooling down after that heat wave we had earlier in the week. Adelaide and Melbourne both keeping plenty of sunshine. Heavy showers continuing to affect Sydney where we'll have the odd rumble of thunder for the end of the week.